Hi, my name is Chloe, and I'm going to talk about the compare and contrast of the two artworks of neoclassical period. And first, I'm going to introduce the neoclassicism. Neoclassicism is a new retro movement, the art movement, which began in Rome, Italy, in the 18th century and 18th century and spread rapidly across the Western world, influenced many fields such as decorative arts, architecture, um, painting, literature, drama, and music, and flourished in the U.S., Britain, Hungary, Germany, and Italy. It is um, character uh, characterized by clear forms, um, plain colors, shallow spaces, strong horizontal and vertical themes that makes the subject timeless and classical subject matter. This article will compare two famous artworks of the neoclassical period, which are La Source by Jane Auguste uh, Dominique Ingres and The Death of Marat, painted by the French artist uh, Jacques Louis David. The two pieces have things in common. The vertical composition of the two paintings are bright, simple, and dignified, omitting all irrelevant details. The background is dark and the people at front are bright, which makes the characters stand out. The somber color um, accentuate the serious atmosphere behind it. Um, the composition has a precise deposition, which is the characters are all at the center of the pictures. However, the difference is that for um, the death of Marat, the deep dark background of the main body of the picture, which occupies uh, the upper half of the image, it is so dark that it almost takes your breath away. While in La Source, um, Ingress paints an upright, completely nude uh, female body that makes up that takes up almost two thirds of the entire piece. And the soft body is presented in the use of soft and variant colors and contour lines. Overall presents a relaxed atmosphere. In the death of Marat, Marat leaned back in the bath tube, one of his head hand hanging helplessly out of the tank, the other holding a note, had a titled head titled back. The posture of his neck, torso and arms are stiff which are um, achieved by the vertical lines and the contour lines, as well as the angles formed between the upper arms and the forearms, between the arms and the torso, and between um, the head and the torso. Um, his face with a calm expression like a closed eye snap after a hard day's work. The bright red blood flowing from his chest which is in a sharp contrast to the dark paleness of the surrounding area. This adds a touch of horror and mystery to the painting. Um, in La Source, the girl is holding the picture on her left shoulder with both arm, uh, both hands. Um, with both hands, which is um. Uh, represented by angles, and the clear water flows through her soft body in a soft curve. There is not a single stiff straight line in this painting, and the artist uses um, soft and uh, varied colors and curves to show the classical beauty of the female body. Um, even in the more open-minded Western country at that time, it was rare to see a painting that presented the female nude in such a fertile and um, an obtrusive manner. This is the first authentic impact of the shape on the viewer. 
Um, in the death of Marat, the deep, dark black background that occupies half of the picture makes the whole picture look more serious, and the corpse color of the eye-catching skin, the yellow of the um, wooden box, the green of the blanket, and the white of the sheets and the paper are all presented again to the maximum, um, forming a strong contrast. The dark and somber, e somber images are full of tragedy, expressing a historical moment that shakes the heart and uh, reflects a real revolutionary era with passion and ideals, as well as the death. Well, in Lost Wars, um, the artist used, used warm colors with a slightly darker yellow color as the main hue, and a bright, brightness color in the front of the young girl's body because the background is very simple and the water jar is brown to enrich the hue of the whole painting. A closer look at the young girl's face and the body. Her skin tone is yellow compared to most of the Western people, but also more delicate, um, probably because the light is dark hitting the young girl's body so that her skin tone is darkened. This dark color makes the young girl look elegant and uh, dignified. The face and the body of the girl also has have a color transition. The face is dark, the body is white, and the legs are dark because of the uh, backlight. The paint is soothing and um, gentle colors, light and uh, delicate, so hi uh, also highlights such a feminine and uh, serene character, creating a quiet and elegant atmosphere in line with uh, the mainstream aesthetics of any era. Uh, so this is the end of my presentation. Um, thank you for listening.